Today we are opening a first edition Duelist Pack Kaiba booster box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. Today we're opening this booster box, which is going to be absolutely crazy. Inside we can pull the ultimate rare Chaos Ember Dragon, Pot of Greed, Cyber Jar, some amazing cards like the Super Rare Blue Eyes as well. So we're going to get to that, but first we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know which ultimate rare do you want to see out of here, or even ultra or super. There's some pretty good ones in there. First of all, we have to thank Steve on Twitter for sending this booster box in to be opened on the channel. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to thank Steve in the comments. That's the way you can enter the giveaway as well. And by the way, you can follow me on Twitter at Ruxin34 if you guys are interested. Let's open this box up for him. So first, let's, let's take a look at it real quick. Five Five cards per pack, 36 packs per box. We have a, it's like a duel, it's a duelist pack. I mean, it is, it's the original duelist pack. Let's get right into it. Let's hope we can pull the ultimate rare CED. I think Pot of Greed would also be a really cool one as well. This is a pretty expensive booster box, so it's pretty cool that we get to open this up for a video. We have done this once before. It was also another viewer who sent it in. It was extremely fun. We pulled the CED. 36 packs. I think last time we got two ultis in the box. I'm not sure how consistent that is because I've only opened one of these. So let's see what we can do. I think this was the 2011 release, maybe, maybe 2010. There's five cards per pack, as we said before. There's the strategy cards. So let's just get into it. Pot of Greed would be awesome. And then uh, it looks like, yeah, we might have to do a pack trick here because the very first card's the rare. Let's do a little mini pack trick so that we can not ruin it right off the bat. Duelist Pack Kaiba, and this is first edition. You might think, oh, I've seen this before on stores. That's the unlimited version. And the first edition has not been in stores for a very long time. So it's pretty cool to get to open this. Familiar Knight. Magic Reflector. Vorse Raider. Very nice. Let's. There's also the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I think comes in Ultra Rare in here. And Duelist Pack, is always, Duelist Pack Kaiba especially is always really fun because it got me back into the game, the Unlimited version, in 2017, 18, or really 2018. So it's always fun to open this up. XYZ Dragon Cannon, our first hollow. This is the alternate art too, so it's pretty awesome. Super rare. Very good. All right, next pack. We have Strategy Card 5. And Different Dimension Dragon, Polymerization, Sagi, the Dark Clown, and Magic Reflector. Can we pull that ultimate rare? There's, I hope there's two again. Three would be crazy, I think. So that would be really good. Let's do a little bit of this. Or you can go with this. All right, we got the... Oh, there's the cost down. That means we should have a foil in here then, I think. So I don't know if that means ultra rare or it could be ultra or super. Let's just find out. Why dragon head? And... Ooh, the Dragon Master Knight Ultra Rare. This is a cool one. Ultra Rare Dragon Master Knight. When I pulled my CED, there was also a Dragon Master Knight inside, which is really crazy. So far already, a super and an ultra. Both fusions. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, I think there's five total ultimates in this set. Is that right? Five ultimates? I don't remember. Okay, we hit another hollow, I think. Kaiser Seahorse. It kind of ruins it, but uh, at least we don't know what the hollow is. Z-Metal Tank. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Oh, Ring of Destruction Ultimate Rare. And there is one of the ultis that we forgot. Ring of Destruction is a pretty good one, and it looks like there's a couple of these dots that seem to happen a lot on these ultimate rares. And then the front is pretty nice as well. So that's a pretty good card. There's a little bit of a slight something right there. Interesting. So our first ultimate is Ring of Destruction. I do have some potential hope. When I bought... Okay, let, let, me, let me rephrase that. When I bought a... Okay, Vampire Lord. A, an open box on eBay. I've told this story a few times. I bought an open box on eBay for $200 and all the, the, the pulls were there. And they didn't like... They just opened it up and sold everything that was inside. Ring of Destruction was one of the ultimate rares. The other ultimate rare they pulled was Chaos Emperor Dragon. So if that is similar to this box... We have another foil. Then we'll get a Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let's hope that is the case. White Dragon Ritual. Cloning. Turn from a different dimension. This is a cool one. We got a lot of epic cards like the DD Warrior, the DD Warrior Lady. There's the, uh, I can't remember what that guy's called. Manticore of Darkness. What's this little, uh, oh, what's that little hamster guy called? I can't remember what we pulled last time when we pulled the Ultimate Rare. What was the other ulti? Was it Ring of Destruction or was it Pot of Greed? I can't remember. Might have been Pot of Greed. Was it Pot of Greed? Pot of Greed's a sweet one too, so that'd be a good, a good pull. All right, let's flip it back there. All right, so it looks like we didn't get anything. Okay, we should just go through it normally because honestly, the, doing the pack trick doesn't make it any better because then you just know if you have a foil or not. So let's just uh, let's do it right off the bat. Let's see what it is. 
What is it? Different dimension dragon. Okay. Soggy the dark clown. All right, Soggy. Ow. Man, the burst of destiny get, gave me this hangnail, and now it's uh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse from all these packs. Oh, the blue eyes white dragon. Nice. Super rare. This card's actually pretty valuable if you get a 10. Let's see. The back looks pretty clean. The front is very nice. I mean, this thing has top to bottom slightly off, but overall, I think this has PSA 10 chance. Look at those corners, man. Those things are sharp. Some sharp corners. That's a good pull. I think last time we actually pulled like two blue eyes or something. So we might actually end up with doubles on the blue eyes because the super rares, you can get doubles. Would be cool if we got the double because it's actually a pretty expensive version of the blue eyes. It looks really clean. I like it. All right. Strategy card. Vorse Raider. My Vorse Raider. Uh-oh. Packs are being ripped to shreds. Let's see what we can get Steve in the rest of this opening. So far, it's been pretty good. Let's see if we can get the Chaos Emperor. Pet in the Dark Clown. Lodge in. The Mystical Genie of the Land. All right, I am struggling to get these out of the box. So let's just pull them out like this. Yeah, we're going to do it like this because that, that was a complete struggle to get those out of there. Uh, we have two packs here. All right, that's interesting. We have cost down. Very nice. Polymerization. Ring of defense. And cloning. 18 packs is a lot. I mean, these duelist packs are pretty thick. There's a lot of them. Next up, will we get another blue eyes? Kaiser Seahorse. The, st the Sword Stalker is a cool one as well. All these Kaiba cards are awesome. Oh, man. The and these packs are not opening the most cleanly either. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? What is this made out of? It would not rip. Okay. Fiend Sanctuary, another super rare. It's very hard to tell on some of the supers that they're actually super rares. Fiend Sanctuary, it's pretty cool. Two more packs on the right side. Then we go to the left. To the left, to the left. This is such a nice card. Or a nice set, I mean. Kaiser Glider. It's just very nostalgic. When I opened these up, I was like, oh, I remember all these cards when I first came back. That's what got me back into it. And then I opened some of the new sets, and I'm like, I don't remember. Like, none of these are from, like, when I used to play. <laughs> so I didn't really know the difference between the sets right off the bat, as you guys understand if you came back like I did. Paladin of White Dragon. Halfway through the opening, we've got another 18 Kaiba packs. Let us pull some fire for Steve. Different Dimension Dragon. All right, we are hoping for at least one more ultimate rare in this half. I kind of want to shuffle these up because we kind of got it early. I don't know if they're mappable or not, but let's shuffle these up a little bit. Watch us just pull an ultimate rare right now. <laughs> it's like, oh, there it is. Maybe there's, maybe they're all ultimate rares. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's really cool. Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. Check that guy out. That card looks incredible. All right, Paladin. The rares you get, if you open one booster box, you get like 10 of each rare. There are not a lot of rares. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess it's all Kaiba cards, so there can't be that many. Kaiser Glider and Hit Tatsumi. Like, it doesn't have to be all Kaiba cards, but uh, I guess that's what they literally, like, they took Duelist Pack very seriously, like, back then. They just only did cards they actually used, which is funny. Ooh, the White Stone of Legend. The first holo printing of this came in Crossroads of Chaos as a common originally. Very nice. That's a very nice version. Petting the Dark Clown and Soggy the Dark Clown, which is like, they're almost the same. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. Kaiser Seahorse, Ring of Defense. Uh-oh, they're sticking together. Can we pull Chaos Emperor Dragon? Put down in the comments, what do you think we're going to pull? Is it going to be Chaos Emperor? Is it going to be Pot of Greed? Is it going to be the Cyber Jar? What's the other one we're forgetting? I feel like it's a decent one. Uh, I don't remember. I think there's one more. Ooh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Pulling all the epic cards in this one. We got Malefic, we got Dragon Master Knight, we got Blue Eyes, we got Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. This is a very good opening so far. We just need to pull the Chaos Emperor. I wish they had Blue Eyes as Ultimate Rare in here. They should have done that. That would have been so cool. Uh, okay, that didn't go well. Let's see. Here we go. Come on, Chaos Emperor. Cost down. All right, cost down. Next pack. Inside, will we have an ultimate rare card? Another cost down. Okay, lots of cost down so far. 
Still a lot of packs left. Still a lot of packs. We would like to get another Blue Eyes as well. That would be very nice. That's actually one of the most expensive cards. I mean, it's Blue Eyes, so it makes sense. And it's got the SDK art, which is very cool. Vampire Lord. And also, just the super rare. Some people are like, it's a little minimalistic, you know? It's like, it's a nice rarity, but it's not like overdoing it. It's very old school feel, you know? Just being a super rare, ultra rare is still really cool and all that stuff. So it has all that going for it. Let's see. Oh, wait. We have a checklist. Okay, so we have Pot of Greed, um, Ring of Destruction, Crush Card Virus. That's what it is. Crush Card Virus. Thank you, checklist. And the, oh, the XYZ Dragon Cannon. That's a double. Hopefully we can get, uh, you know, one we actually want to double, the Blue Eyes. Uh, but still, still a cool card. That's all right. What will we get here? Will it be the Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End? No, it's Petting of the Clown. The Dark Clown. Petting of the Clown. All right, getting a little nervous for that second ulti. Are we going to get it? Hopefully we're going to get it. All right, we have the Card Guard and the Kaiser Glider. All right, Enraged Battle Locks and Soggy the Dark Clown. So many Soggies. Uh, this pack's a little bunched up at the bottom. Hopefully they didn't, like, damage any cards or anything. With our luck, you know. Oh, Cyberjar! <laughs> it is in the crump pack. Okay, the bottom edge doesn't look like it got damaged. Cyberjar, this is a very cool card. Cyberjar, ultimate rare, first edition. Centering's a little bit off top to bottom. But that's still a really nice card. It's kind of like the other one, I mean, in terms of centering. All right, so let's see what the rest of the box is. Is it possible to get three ultimate rares? So I would say, honestly, probably the worst three ult. No. So the, the top two is Chaos Ember Dragon. Then Pot of Greed. Uh, and then it's kind of between, I don't know which, Crush Card is really cool. I don't know if Crush Card, they're all kind of like the next tier. So two of the, the bottom tier ones. I would say the one that I would want the least would be, um, I already forgot. What was the first card? What was the first ulti we pulled? It was a trap card. Oh, ring of destruction. Actually, I don't know. That's kind of nice for goat format. They're all a little bit nice. Return of the different dimension or from the different dimension. Another double They're. I mean, they're all pretty good. There's none that suck, which is nice. Unfortunately though, it wasn't one of the top two, but I don't, I don't even know what Steve was looking for. So hopefully he likes these. I think I'd rather have ring than, um, crush card because ring you can play in your goat deck so i honestly i think ring might be third so it's actually yeah not bad cyber jar is still cool though if you play like some sort of deck with cyber jar uh old school format or something that's good too oh different dimension dragon it's always cooler when you can throw it in something and the final pack here can we get a blue eyes white dragon here let's get a double that would be awesome maybe a third ulti maybe uh i think they're usually two but we'll see here we go Vorse Raider. All right, just a Vorse Raider in the final pack. That was extremely fun. Thanks again, Steve, for sending us this booster box to open on video. It was really fun. And I hope you're happy with your pulls. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe and Fosho, Tomato Juice, Noah J6490, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace.